How you doing? Thanks for joining me in the fourth part of this four-part series dealing with overcurrent calculations for transformers based off of section 26 of the 2015 23rd edition Canadian Electrical Code. In previous videos we've gone through, especially the third video, we looked at primary protection only on an other than dry type transformer under 750 volts. In this video we are taking a look at what do we do if we want to omit that primary protection. As other videos, we've previously gone through and done this calculation for dry type under 750 as well as over 750 volt transformers and it essentially works out to be the same process. Okay? What we're going to need to do is calculate our secondary overcurrent protection as well as our primary feeder and we're going to call this right here our primary feeder. This is different than our primary overcurrent that would be to individually protect this transformer. This primary feeder may have other loads coming off of it as well that it's protecting, but this is the rule that deals with how big does this have to be, or rather, what is the maximum size this can be in order to omit this primary individual protection. So, as always, what we're going to need to go do is figure out what our rated primary current and our rated secondary current is. Okay, so again, we have our 2000 VA transformer divided by my primary line voltage, 240 volts. This is a single phase transformer so I do not need to use root 3 as a multiplier and I end up with current on the primary of 8.33 amps. Because we're going to need to calculate the secondary overcurrent we need to find out what the secondary rated current is as well. So same 2000 VA divided by now we have 120 volts as our primary secondary or sorry secondary line voltage we end up with current on the secondary is 16.667 amps. Okay, so in order to omit this primary protection, we need to take a look at 26254, sub rules 4 and 5. Sub rule 4 tells me, well, sub rule 3 tells me it's not required to have primary protection as long as this is there and this is adequately sized. Sub rule 4 tells me my secondary protection, we'll take a look at that one first. Let's look at secondary OC. Okay. Sub rule 4 tells me that I have to be set at or rated not more than 125% of rated secondary current. Okay. But if I read on to sub rule 5, it says where 125% is not available for over 9 amps. If your rated secondary current is over 9 amps and 125% of that secondary current is not available, you're allowed to go up to the next size. So as in the previous video, let's kind of break this down for ourselves. If it's 9 amps or more, according to 26254 sub rule 4, it tells me multiply by 1.25, go up by overcurrent, okay? If that size is not available, go up by your overcurrent. And if we read on, it tells me that if I am less than nine amps, so we're just gonna say less than nine amps, okay? My multiplier is now 167%. So we're gonna go times 1.67. And there is, again, no exception to this, like there is with the nine amps or more, we're allowed to go up. With 167%, we are not allowed to exceed that value, so we are going to go down and buy OC. So you need to determine again, which category are we in? We are greater than nine amps, so this is gonna be our multiplier. Let's take our number. We have our 16.667 times, uh, sorry, 1.25 because we are greater than nine amps, and we should see a value of around 20.8 amps. I go to table 13, there is no 20.8 amp available, so I'm allowed to go up, and I'm gonna choose a 25 amp OC for my secondary. In order to omit that primary protection, I require a 25 amp secondary overcurrent device, okay? As well as, we need to take a look at the primary feeder as well. Okay, because in sub rule four, it tells me that if I have 125% setting on my secondary overcurrent, I must also have no more than 300% of my rated primary for my primary feeder. 
Okay, so there's no exception to that. It doesn't say you can go up or anything like that. So we're going to take that primary rated current of 8.3 amps. And we're going to multiply it by the 300% given. Gives us, and I'm going to round up in this case, we're going to see 25 amps. It works out to 24.999. Let's go to 25. Okay, I know we're exceeding, but if you were to round, it would end up at 25. Okay, so what that tells me with that, I have to have a 25 amp overcurrent on my primary feeder maximum and a 25 amp overcurrent on my secondary as well in order to omit primary protection on this transformer. If these loads, for example, if there were more loads and it was exceeding 25 amps, I would actually have to put my primary protection back in. I cannot exceed that value there. So hopefully this series of videos has helped. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.